fistula is a debilitating and stigmatizing medical condition in which a fistula hole develops between the rectum and the vagina or bladder. I learned about fistula in sometime in December 2011 when I visited a friend of mine in the hospital. The patient right next to her was suffering from fistula and I didn't know at the time what was fistula and she explained to me her condition, how she's suffering and all that. So I, I started this project where after I won the Miss Terralion title, I was asked to choose a project. So I decided to choose fistula and do more research on fistula. I get this belly now, plain I didn't see man say, we in belly around five months. I didn't see like what plan to me, mama. I didn't get for good. I go good day. I go there then and say, we better take 11 months. After 11 months, I didn't belly get for at, we in belly at. I didn't, I would say seven days. I know it would burn for me, say. Like eight days, I can't. I didn't count me now, cause it. I didn't cause it, and say, even say, who can? I didn't do no operation. When you think about someone discharging urine and feces at the same time, uncontrollable, and she can't move around, it affects her economically, socially, community, reject them, husbands divorce them, they are left all by themselves, and uh, they don't have enough people to tell them this is what you're suffering from. Some people don't even know they're suffering from fistula. In their communities, people will tell them they've been caused by some devils. We only have one surgeon in the whole Sierra Leone. She does like 200 operations a year. And that's a lot to think about. Imagine a whole country, just a single surgeon to do these operations. Obstetric fistula still continues to be a problem in Sierra Leone, unfortunately, despite the fact that uh, the treatment and full response have been around for over 10 years, at least a decade. So it's quite a devastating issue for young girls. I usually say it leaves them shattered. It deprives them not only of their hygiene, but also of their dignity. For the past 10 years, I've been the only obstetric fistula surgeon in Sierra Leone. But um, as of beginning of this year, the Ministry of Health have been kind enough to help us recruit another junior doctor who is my colleague and she's working with me now. She actually is very compassionate to this patient and uh, we're hoping that things will start looking differently. We are laying emphasis for pregnant women to come to deliver into government hospitals where they will have skilled personnel who will assist them in case of complications. I'm asking the world to support me to fight against fistula because people, women, especially teenage girls, are dying, suffering, neglected, suffering emotionally. So I'm just asking the world to support me to fight against fistula, to end fistula in Sierra Leone to help restore the dignity of women in Sierra Leone.